hey how you like my new background pretty cool huh well we all know it's a green screen and but the thing is I wanted to tell you is you know I always wanted to play with a green screen and I felt inspired and I figured yeah just do something different for fun even if it's silly because sometimes when you do things because you're inspired and you do things differently you get different results and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today because a lot of times people get readings and they're wondering why the answers are always the same sometimes they're asking about relationship business um, and health but if they don't do something different, the results will always be the same. And sometimes um, we think we're doing the something different and out of the box, but we're really not because the intention is still the same. So today I wanted to share with you some of the experiences that I went through that I'm thinking I'm doing something different, but I'm really not. But no matter how you look at it, if the results are always the same, we're missing something or obstacle that we're creating in our minds that's not allowing us to move forward, so we're stuck. So we're just going to take a look at some of these examples. When I do readings, most people want to know the three things. They want to know about health, finances, and relationship. If nothing improves and the reading is always the same, it could be that we aren't doing anything different to make a change. We could get stuck in a rut and feel like we are going in circles and not getting anywhere. Sometimes we get depressed, and especially now that we are social distancing, we are feeling alone. The worst part of the future is that we can easily change it. But the beautiful part of the future is that we can easily change it. Nothing is engraved in stone, and no psychic, no other person can choose how to react to your situation or make a choice for you. So that's also very empowering. When you feel you have no hope left in your life, and that things are going downhill, all you got is yourself to pick yourself up and you feel how is this possible but some miracle energy thought or feeling comes your way and it makes you go through these tough times all by yourself and it even makes you sometimes make peace with your worst enemy the burden lifts off of you and you feel it go away almost like a miracle because of how impossible it was to make the situation better but this is the real magic I was going to go into all these examples of me and how other people would think we did something differently to make better results and how it never happened. But instead of going that route, here's another. No matter if we want to be successful, have a relationship, or reach any goal for that matter, we have to do the work. What I mean is the kind of work, the work on ourselves. See, like, for example, one of my friend's father always talks about wanting to find the best companion for him so every time someone tries to introduce him to someone he's like oh no no that's not my type but apparently his type is not working for him so he's still doing the same things or if he wants to meet people he has to start going to different places besides just going to work at home and at the same time figure out why he really wants to be with this other person is it because he wants a trophy wife or is it because he wants a friend does he really want to take the time to get to know somebody or he just wants somebody to come home to? Because the intention that is put out there also makes it work for him or not work for him. It's like one day I can put out positive energy on a project and I could see all the success linking up and lining up ready to happen. Then another day I can think really negative about a project and all of a sudden I see the links and success breaking away. Our doubts and fears are emotions that constantly change, and that's what manipulates the energy to change as well. Unless we truly believe what we are doing will work and take action. Some people are successful because they are busy. They are so busy that they don't have time to think about anything negative that is happening, and they don't have time to dwell in their sorrows. So when a conflict comes up, they're like, oh my god, I just have to fix it, and they fix it and they move on. They don't have the time to doubt themselves, they just go with the gut feeling and they resolve whatever is thrown at them, so they reach their success. When I do readings, sometimes people ask what do I tap into? I like to say the source, messages from our guides, etc. But to me, it's all the same, that's oneness. But when I do tap in, there are three types of energies that I am looking for. One is what kind of energy you are putting out into the universe at this moment. And what is that intention? Two is what is the potential you have to get these things done? And three, what will happen if you just stay where you are and do everything the same way? So sometimes I might tell someone, sorry, I don't see it changing, 
or I don't see you with anyone yet, or it's not in the cards for you at this time. But maybe the potential is if they do something different, go somewhere different, try something different, or try to date a different type of person, or maybe have some self awareness on why they're trying to reach this specific goal and let go of their ego, and maybe even want to try to learn about other people and things. Maybe this will give them a better chance to change their results. But in the beginning, I said sometimes I think I did something different. But my intention was still the same, so I still had the same results. What I mean was, say I wanted to be successful, and this one job just wasn't cutting it, so I said, okay, I'll do something different, I'll change jobs. So I did something different, but whatever lesson and self awareness that I was supposed to gain from this, I didn't learn. And so it rolled over to my next job. Or say I wanted to be rich, and I'm like, this time I will be different because I'm doing something different. Maybe my intention to be rich was something I had to look at. Maybe I wanted to be rich to rub it in my boss's face, or to show off, or to buy friendship. Then the question would be why is it so important to me? Why am I searching for recognition and acceptance outside of myself? I could think I'm doing something different, but honestly, If I didn't do the work to find out the different things I should be really doing, or why I want this goal so bad, it might not change a thing. And if I truly did the work, I really wouldn't be asking, why did it not change? We would know exactly why. Everything is instant gratification nowadays. A click of a button and we can learn something new, send a message to a friend, and even get a date on an app. And we like to think that maybe even a psychic will tell us exactly what to do. But there is one thing missing from all this the foundation of getting there. The journey helps us to grow, and our mistakes help us to decide what we really want and what works and what doesn't. It pushes us out of our comfort zone and expand the way that we cope with things, not only so we reach the end goal, but so we can maintain it. And in the meantime, If it's not meant to be, if the timing is off, if we're not ready to take the steps to let go of our fears, are we going to stay miserable because we can't reach our goal? Or are we going to focus on the things in front of us that we can do in the now? I give credit to those that are alone, pushing through and doing things and not having as much support, especially because everyone is so distant. Socializing and interaction is something that we all need. Although we are creatures of habit, we have to take that extra step, that extra push that we have hidden in our back pocket and use it because now is the time. Oh, 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 oh,